Equipped with this trusty blanket, today's video, we're going to be having a look at the Play Mantis, Charlie Brown's Christmas. This is Linus Van Pelt. Collect the entire Peanuts gang from the television classic, A Charlie Brown Christmas. Recreate your favorite moments from the Christmas holiday special with these action figures and accessories. Grabbing the magical Ultra Measuretron 5000. I'll let you in on a secret. That's it's the exact same tape measure. And measuring to the very top of Linus Van Pelt. There we go. Right there. Right there. There we go. The Ultra Measuretron 5000 Christmas Edition tells us that the figure stands 4.8 inches in height, which in centimeters works out to be 12.2. For some size comparisons, here he is next to Charlie Brown, a little bit smaller. To the other side, here he is next to Lucy. Now this Lucy was the one that came in the deluxe set, which I'm quickly realizing has pretty much all the exact same stuff that we're looking at in the individual figures. And for good measures, we'll just move him out of the way, move her just slightly over. And we'll also bring in Sally who absolutely adores Linus. It's unfortunate though that so far, one casualty from this lineup and those problems with those loose legs that we were talking about, uh, Sally very difficultly has a tough time standing. She, if you tap her slightly, she'll just lean forward because she's got these really, really loose legs. So far, she's the only one to have had this problem for the most part. And I'm hoping she's also gonna be the only one moving forward as well. For his accessories, Linus actually gets a fair bit. We'll first start with the same thing that we've looked at with other Peanuts figures, and that is the same snowy base. There's nothing different. If you were to look at this next to, oh, I don't know, let's grab one off camera. There it is, another one. I think this one, I mean, it could have come with anybody, but you can see how they sort of interlock with one another, offset from one another. And then you just can continue going with that until you finish out an entire scene. And I think what I might end up doing for like the last figure is I'm gonna put all the stuff together, all the accessories together, everything that we've had a look at, and we can make ourselves one big giant diorama, because gosh darn it, that's what Play Mantis would have had us do. Let's bring this back here for a second, just for a split second, because we also want to talk about the pile of snowballs that come included with Linus. It's neat that they do include this. It doesn't so much go on top of the base. I guess it could, but then you lose a little bit of space in which the figure could stand on top of. You could probably just have it onto the side, but again, that's going to cause a little bit of problems when you want to like connect these all together. The texturing effect kind of gives me that look of faux snow. Fake spray snow. Does anybody still use that? Fake spray snow? I'm pretty certain it's toxic. Not to something that you want to be having around pets or around you know younger people that are going to be maybe putting that into their mouth. Let me know. Anybody still using fake snow? Curious. Always like to learn new stuff about you guys. But it does look kind of like fake snow as well as the little snowballs here. Speaking of snowballs, plural, snowball singular, he also comes with one snowball. Now, unfortunately, though, there's no place on Linus where he can hold the snowball. It's not like he can attach it to his hand, to his pointer finger, nothing. There is one possibility, though. His little trusty security blanket, I noticed that there's this indentation where you could take the snowball and fit it inside. You could, of course, make him the champion snowball thrower by keeping the snowball in there. I probably won't end up doing that. I'll just kind of randomly place it on the ground somewhere when we eventually look at a bigger diorama. While we're actually on the topic of his blanket, let's talk about that now. 
you can see it's been printed with 2003. The set, these figures were released 2004, so about 14 years old these figures are. Some of my viewers may not actually even be 14 years old. Let me know down below. But the interesting thing about the blanket though is it's the way they've sculpted it, see how it's got a little curve shape to it? I can't seem to figure out how that's supposed to go in Linus's hand. Is it simply just a case like where I'm taking the curve and I'm placing it in between his fingers like that? Because it doesn't seem like that's right. Nor does it even seem like he properly holds it. I keep kind of playing around with it. At one point I'm just taking the blanket and I'm tucking it in the top of his hand. And he can kind of hold it that way as well. But it doesn't seem like there's really a correct way of holding it. Other than maybe just other than maybe just like draping it over his hand like that. So I don't know really specifically how they want you to hold, have him holding the blanket. Speaking of not quite being able to hold it properly, he also has a hat. And like his older sister, Lucy, he doesn't really have a hat that stays on his head. They tell you on the underside here, kind of looks like a head of lettuce. This is the way it's supposed to be placed over his head. It, you know, there's no real specific shape and defined, okay, it has to go this way. I mean, it goes on his head, but you tilt the figure and very easily and very quickly, it rolls away on you. So at least, at the very least, it stays on his head a little bit better than say, Lucy's hat, which again, we can just bring in. Where, where did I put her hat? Where did I put Lucy's hat? Now I can't even remember where I put her hat. Ah, her hat's right over there. Reaching off, grabbing all this stuff here. At the very least, it does stay on his head better than it stays on Lucy's head. It just, you know, it doesn't necessarily mean because it's textured on the underside. <laughs> it does look like a head of lettuce or cabbage. But I kind of wish that the heads, the hats could have stayed on a little bit better. I'm not going to be getting like moving these around to the point where I have to worry about the hats coming off. But at the very least, if they stayed on place, stayed on their heads a little bit easier, I wouldn't have so much of the problem. Lucy's really is the is the worst of the of the bunch there. We'll take the hat off and uh, we'll look at Linus's head here. I've said this already repeatedly, and I'll probably continue to repeatedly say this. Sorry for long-time viewers are going to be watching all these videos back to back to back. But uh, the head sculpts look great. I mean, they look like they were taken from the cartoon. Even right down to the little jagged lines for his lips, which I talked about before, little spots for his eyes. I love the coloring on all their skin tones. It's, it, like I said, taken right from the, the, the series. I mean, if I could be overly critical, when I'm not going to be overly critical, it's the holiday season after all. But I do think proportionately, their torsos should be a little shorter. Like, if you look at the series, I don't think it's their... I don't think the top half of their torsos are this long. I feel like they're almost like three quarters that length. They should be like a little smaller, compacted a little bit. Other than that though, I think the coloring is, is on par with how it looked from the series. Again, once you incorporate the hat there as well. If you had yourself the stage, for example, I don't think they ever released the stage. You could have Linus in the middle there, spotlights on him, talking about the real meaning of Christmas. Um, he's got all the same posability as all the other Peanuts characters, so his arms rotate back and forth. Still sort of has that problem with the angled, I don't really know what's going on, forearm swivel. Doesn't really make much sense as to why they would have even have done that, because it just looks awkwardly bent. For what little it actually does, I would have been perfectly fine if the arms just rotated back and forth, and then he had swivel in his hand. That's it, that's all I would have really needed. The waist, unfortunately, is loose. Um, yeah, it's not something that could be avoided. It's just the nature of the... Like, if I flip this up, let me just show you what's going on in there so you can actually see it. There's one peg. That's it. And it looks as if... It almost looks as if it's two legs sharing one ball joint, that the ball joint is connecting the two legs together. This allows the legs to move forward and back in a position that you really can't do put them in with anyways. But it also means, because it's just that very thin peg at the back, the lower half swivels way too easy and loose, excessively loose. Luckily, I don't have the problems with Linus that I had with Sally. His legs are still relatively, I don't want to say tight, I don't want to say loose, sort of in between, middle of the mark. 
Um, he doesn't have any articulation in the feet because the way the feet line up, see, they have to kind of connect to one another here. And then he has pegs on the undersides of his feet. Why he has peg holes on the undersides of his feet? Eh, I, I don't know. Because really none of the display bases have pegs. Uh, it doesn't come with necessarily any vehicles. I don't think I would give vehicles to any of the Charlie Brown characters, but there's no vehicles or anything like that. So why give pegs to the undersides of a character that doesn't come with a display stand that doesn't have pegs? It's just one of those mysteries of Christmas we'll never figure out. One thing I do, th one thing that is certain based on what I've seen so far of this lineup, I quite like these figures. They are a little problematic. Uh, more importantly, when it comes to the posability on their lower legs, I really wish that they would be a little bit more posable uh, in, in a way that didn't necessarily hinder their abilities. At the very least, if they had had at least peg stands, it would have made sense you could have had the characters walking. So I don't know, again, why that that be the case. The hats generally stay good. Uh, Linus kind of does fall off from time to time. Lucy's is the worst culprit of that. But I guess the biggest thing I have problem-wise with this figure is the fact that his blanket, I, I don't know, I'm not really, again, sure how the blanket is supposed to be posed, whether it, maybe it's just supposed to drape on his hand like that. And then maybe that little recessed area doesn't belong to the snowball at all. I was just coming up with that in my head. Linus Pelt remains one of my favorite characters from the Charlie Brown specials, often instilling young Chuck with words of wisdom. Charlie Brown's Christmas is no exception because not only did he teach the rest of the Peanuts gang, but he also taught a young me the true meaning of Christmas. I think Play Mantis has done once again a bang-up job on these figure releases, giving us some accessories to come include with the figures, even though I find like the blanket doesn't quite hold well in his hand. I guess here in Final Looks, I've just decided that bank the blankets should be the other way around forfeiting a fact that he now can't hold the snowball in the blanket. Maybe it's not supposed to be. Maybe it was never meant to be. And I just created the whole thing in my head because it seemed right. He can't hold the snowball, so logically, yeah, why not? Why don't we put it actually into his blanket? Still, I'm looking forward to finishing off the rest of the figure lineup because then we can make the larger snowbound scene in which you can have all the characters in it. Uh, just actually an FYI, only some of the characters come with snow backgrounds. There are about four figures, Charlie Brown being one of them, that come with this stage setup. So when I think when we finish having a look at the snowfall setup, the snow background, we're going to then focus our efforts, kind of change our direction over to the uh, stage setup, and we're going to have a look at a couple of the Charlie Brown's characters from the Charlie Brown's Christmas special from the folks over at Play Mantis. So there's a whole bunch of Christmas stuff from the Peanuts gang that you guys can look forward to seeing on this channel. Make sure, though, you hit that little subscribe button down below. That is crucial, because if you haven't had a chance to do so already, you might be missing out on all these videos that are coming to this channel. Why not, while you're also at it, swing on over to my playlist. You can check out all the stuff that I've posted for Christmas Spots 2018. As well, you can go back and have a look at some of the stuff I've done for Christmas Spots of previous years, sort of the ghosts of things to come the ghosts of Christmas past. You can have a look at the Christmas spots of past in the playlist that I've got on this channel. So why not go and check those out? Don't worry guys, we're gonna have some more Christmas videos coming your way and if Christmas isn't really your thing, that's okay. We're gonna have some other videos coming onto this channel as well. So there's gonna be a little bit of both, a little bit of Christmas, a little bit of other stuff, and a whole lot of rock and roll may not have a whole lot of rock and roll stuff but either way thanks for watching as you always do guys if you've ever picked up these figures for yourself let me know down below what you think of them and i'll see you guys next time